Okay, so hello ladies, nice to see you. This is our first face, uh, pr actual proper face, not just practice faces and practice features of this series. Um, it being February Black History Month in the US, um, I just thought I'd take one of my favorite people in the whole world so we could draw her. Also, she's got, as you will see her, this is just a wonderful picture of her. It's a great one to draw. Yeah. You just you want to hug this? her. Yeah. Do you know who this is, Addie? This is Stacey Abrams. She's the reason that Donald Trump lost the election. She organized all of the Black voters in Georgia to go out and vote, and she made it easy for them, even though uh, everybody was trying to stop them from voting. So she's a hero. She's a real hero. Um, also, she's just fantastic, gorgeous. Hi, Mariana. Nice to see you. All right. So one of the one of the things I like to really emphasize, we're going to go to the black and white version of this, is that when you're starting to draw anything, we're not really going to draw the hands today, by the way. I'm going to show you how to include little bits of them, but you're not going to draw the hands. You guys know like drawing hands is really difficult. And I've only taught one class in it myself with this group. So I know everyone here is not an expert in drawing hands. Um, but I, but one of the things I like to talk about is that faces are really fantastic for, sh for showing us that if we want to draw, we need a roadmap. We need to make some decisions about where things are. So that's why measuring becomes very, very important. And one of the things I wanted to show you about this tremendous human face is just like all human faces, If I go here, let's see, sorry, let me get this there. If I measure the halfway point on this, look at where it is, where is it? It's at the bridge of the nose, right between the eyes. Right between the middle of the eye line, right? Yeah, that's right. It's right between the middle of the eye line. So when we sketch out our face, the first thing we're going to do is draw a line from top to bottom. It doesn't matter how big it is. It can be big or small. It doesn't have to be as big or small as this to be bigger, right? But I know that this is the bottom of my face. This is the very top of my face, including the hair. And I know if I find the halfway point, which you guys are going to do. All right. Yep. That this is where my eye line is. So go ahead and do that. Hi, Jess. Let's make a couple of other observations. If I divide this line in half. Oh, Hermes. It's hard to see that actually here. Let me get a little bit darker. There we go. Oh, somebody wants to say hello. Hello, where are you? Why aren't you paying here? Watch this. Why? Oh no, now he's jumping on the ground. Why aren't you paying attention to me? So here's the, if I split this half in half, right? So if I divide this line into four quarters, Two, three, four. Four equal quarters, right? So last week when you guys did this, I saw some of you did not have your, your measurements correct. This should be four equal quarters all the way up. Where are the quarters showing 
what are we seeing at the quarter points? At the half point, we see the eye line. What are we seeing at this bottom quarter point? Top of the lip. Yep. So the nose is contained within this. Yeah. Top of the lip. So her face is up a little bit. Down. Down. She's how you can tell because her shoulders are up. Ah. Uh, right. So imagine. Yeah. yeah. She's kind of leaning into her hands a little bit. Bubble says hi. Hi, Bubble. Where's the top quarter? Addie, where's the top quarter? What's happening at the top quarter? Hairline? Yeah, hairline, exactly. So there we go, here's our roadmap, right? We've got the hairline at the quarter point. We've got the eye line at the mid, and the middle of the eye line, really, at the midway point. We've got the top of the lip. If I wanna divide this half in half. Oh, look at that, that's nice. That's a really nice, easy. Measurement. If I divide this last quarter in half, I can see that basically that's the, hey, now stop it. Hermes, give me just a second. You don't get to do this right now. Has Hermes been exiled? I love that cat, but I cannot have him <laughs> Has in he been the exiled? room when I'm teaching. He just <laughs> can't like, keep it quiet to himself. So if I divide this quarter in half, Mariana, what's at the, what's at, what's at the halfway point of this last quarter? The bottom of the lip. Yep. So the mouth is really contained between here and here, right? The nose is within this. The eye line is right here. And as Addie points out, the forehead is here. So here's our roadmap. I don't know how anybody draws with that without this. If you don't have this, you can't draw anything. You cannot draw anything. You can't draw a damn coffee cup, let alone <laughs> a face, right? If you don't have this, so using this is a really great way of like kind of learning where things are. What's the next line we need to figure out before we do anything else? The, cross, the horizontal cross. Yes, Jean, excellent. So let's draw that in, let's draw that out. But how do we measure it? How do we measure it? How do we always measure it? How do we three, quarters of, three quarters of the vertical line. No, there's no, it's different on every person. Well, I know it's five eyes across, but how do we measure it? Anybody remember? It's five Mariana, eyes you're closer. Across, but how do you actually get it? Anybody remember the measurement? I say it every single time. <laughs> every single time. Isn't it, isn't it three quarters of the vertical line? Sometimes. Sometimes, Mariana, back that up one step. We compare it to the vertical line. Oh, I right? see. Right? Sometimes it's three quarters. Sometimes it's less. Sometimes it's more. It's not, there's no rule on this. But if I go from ear to ear, I compare it to the vertical line. I expect you all to know this next time. This is the key. It's a, it's, it's a measurement that changes from person to person. Depends on how long your skull is, how long your face is. So Mariana, you were close, right? Because you were like three quarters, but you see how that can cause you problems, right? Because in this case, the distance is not three quarters. It's above three quarters. See that? The three quarter line helps because it helps you kind of determine where that is. But so I need to come up here because as you can see, this measurement is about, I'm gonna mark this with orange so you guys don't get this confused. This is the width, that orange line. This is the width. 
So you, you measure this line at that halfway point. It's just like how I have to draw everything really. And then I come here and I measure this. It's pretty much my whole pencil here. Here. Now let me double check it. Yep. Uh huh. There we go. Uh, it comes in just a little bit. So here, my friends, we have our guidelines upon which all things are. And like everything else, right? She's one eye to the right, two, three, four, five. Once you draw faces, you're gonna realize that everybody's proportions are pretty much the same. There's differences, but they're so minuscule. They're so minuscule. So just like we've discussed, when a face is facing forward, Eye line from beginning to end. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, I like to kind of guess this. No, that's not right. A little bit more. I always get it right. I always get it wrong. I like to kind of estimate where I think this is going to be. I think it's going to be about here. One, two, that works that way. Does it work this way? No, nope, I think it's going to have to be bigger. Yep, it's going to have to be a little bit bigger. You can also measure your line. One, two, three, that looks better. One, two, three, four, yeah. You can also measure your line and divide it into fifths. But I'd like you to get away from measuring using numbers because the numbers can confuse you. It's a sneaky left brain way. One, two, three. It's a sneaky left brain way. Of trying to get, um, of trying to confuse you, trying to create a rule. So you'll notice what Mariana did is a very left brain, but normal, normal reaction. Uh, you're looking for the rule, right? So Mariana's like the last time I saw a head measured, it was three quarters of the distance, right? So you're thinking that's the rule, right? But that's not the rule. The rule is. I got to measure it to see how far it up it is. It'll be around the three quarter point, but for some people it'll be lower. Some people it'll be at, some people it'll be higher, right? So it's that the rule, be careful that the rule doesn't become too rigid. That'll get in your way. Um, and then I'll just kind of lightly sketch in We're not gonna to get too much detail yet into the eye because we're still kind of sketching out shapes. The other thing we have is this wonderful hair of Stacey Abrams, which kind of comes out farther than our line. So as we start to get this shape, we're actually gonna start with 
And remember, the hair comes out side, comes out farther than this line. You can actually start Oops. Getting this big shape. So I'm going to get this in here and then I'm going to take a look at what you guys have going on before we get any further. So once again, hair comes out a little bit further. Notice I'm not drawing every curl. I'm just kind of trying to get the outward shape of the hair. I'll give you this too. I'm going to stop right here. Um, I am happy to see your measurements before you get to this stage, but I wanted you to see just enough to see to see how to structure. <laughs> Can't even fit. Hold on. So Jean, remember that the ears uh, here, here is a good. No, I know they don't, they don't show. That's where the- Let me show you. So let me show you. So this, uh, so here's the beginning and end of your middle line, right? Here's right. where the ears are. Look at where the edge of the face and the eye meet. It's about halfway. It's virtually, so see the edge of the skin of the face where the skin kind of meets the hairline here. Okay, so and the eye the went a little too out. far. Yep, exactly. Good job. That's all I ask. All I ask is that you see. <laughs> <laughs> I don't ask you to like. Great job. I feel like something's wrong on my, but I need to really stand up to see it. I go. So I know some of you are going to miss this, so I'm going to remind you right now. The ear line, here is where the ears are, even though we can't see them. This is where the width of our line, the hair comes out beyond that. The hair comes out beyond that. What you working on today, Jessica? I just 
my February goal is also like practicing portrait sketching. My class yes. last month got me in the mood. So I've been doing little exercises every day. Wonderful. And Pebbles is here. She says hi. Hi, Pebbles. Hi, Pebbles. Pain in the ass. <laughs> look at now talk about like gorgeous feminine uh eyebrows look at these fantastic arch eyebrows i hope Abrams. she pays a lot of money to get those so perfect because i just think perfect. i think maybe or maybe she's just one of those i know i think she's just i think it's them. natural and that yeah. flawless skin is natural too i know i just love this shape it's so beautiful I have, and you can see, and she's got slightly Asiatic eyes because the hood, the top lid kind of sits over. Right. She doesn't have the, the, the deep, you know, the gap. The deep in. set, but the, 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 deep, the, spa the skin space between the top of the eyelid and here, like I do, or maybe like, I haven't seen your eye. Actually, I'd have to look at everybody's eyes to see where that is. So go ahead and get that here. Um, I'm just going to have you kind of sketch around the fingers for now. Oh, and a perfect little heart-shaped B. I know this might seem a little bit weird, but like the proportions of her face were otherwise so perfect. I couldn't really pass up. Can't we just ignore the fingers completely? No, because you can't see what's going on. Trust me. I can you make it that's, up. You can't guess. You do, you, we do not have good <laughs> success in this class with guessing, so we are not going to do that. So I'm kind of sketching around them, but I also I want to show you how to handle some of these things. Right, we'll get to them. Perfect little Valentine shape. Oh, Stacy Abrams. Such a babe. Send this picture over to. I mean, I'm not exactly sure this is right. I will adjust this. Jawlines, shapes of like getting things exactly right in this uh, arena uh, often takes some adjustment, but we really need to start from what we call the envelopes of shape, right? Which are these outer shapes. That's not what people want to do. People who want to start with the eyes and move outward. And let me tell you, that's just a recipe for, it's the worst technique ever. It's not really even technique, it's anti-technique. I'm gonna say here right now, if you're one of those people who starts with the eyes and moves outward, God help you. You're, you're only gonna be able to do it as far as you understand what's going on. Once you stop understanding, once there's even a slight turn in the head, you're lost. But it's natural to want to start with the eyes because um, it's because that's like, you know, with any art project, I think one of the things that keeps us going when things are hard is to focus on something that's interesting to you. By the way, observe, uh, like all the other faces we've drawn, Right, that's hard to see. I'll do this with orange. Um, you know, you want to like 
pick subjects that interest you. As observe, as I told you before, on all the other things here, the edge of the nose lines up with the inside tear duct of each eye. That's because the nose is basically the width of the eye, just a little bit wider. The edge of the mouth lines up the lips in the center there, lines up with the iris, the center of the iris of each eye, just like everything else. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, everybody's so effing different. <laughs> I'm gonna send this over so you can really see these relationships. It's, you can barely see the pupil from the iris. Um, it's mostly covered up with the reflected light and also the shadow that falls across the top of the eye. Right. She's got long eyelashes. So when you guys think you have it, send this over. If you're having trouble getting this. By the way, is Stacey Abrams a box or a peg? Box. Box. How can we tell? Can't see your nostrils. The, well, the nose. The bottom the nose, of the nose, nose, the tip of the nose is lower, lower than the sides of the nose. They are not lined up. A pig, a pers a pig nose is the nose that lines up. These things line up with the bottom of the nose. In this case, the nose points down. Um. Some places where people tend to get confused, where the uh, horizontal stops and where the edge of the face goes, right? This is inside, the edge of the face is inside this horizontal line. Where the hair stops, outside the horizontal line on either side. I know I've kind of run a line through the center of her eyes, so we'll move to the color version when we start getting more detail. How's it going, you guys? Feeling hard? Even if you don't get any farther than this, I consider this progress. So if you can't get any farther than just getting the basic things in the places they need to be, you're doing fine. So don't like worry. This is super, it's intense. It requires a lot of looking. A lot of measuring. Let's see. I know the mouth is wrong. And you shouldn't be going ahead. Don't go ahead until I see your measurements. Okay. okay. Well, you, you saw the measurements. 
I did not see all your measurements. Like I didn't see your outside face. So erase the mouth. It's just, it's not right. I know. Um, however, nose looks good. Um, the face is in complete, yeah. Every, the problem is everything that's happening down here is completely, just erase it all. Also, you have her hair coming down well below where yeah. it actually is. Yeah. So I I'm want just you on to, one side. Um, I can't see the other side, so I don't know. Erase everything that's under the nose and everything on the side of the face, and let's get let's let's start from there. And and do you see, Jean, why I'm like, don't get started on the features. It's not going to help you. It's not going to help your face. I, it may help you feel like you're getting more done, but if you don't have things in the right places, there's no point in going forward. So let me see this step before you before you get to the the features steps. Because uh, we're missing too much. Anybody else? <laughs> Come on, step up. <laughs> now they're all afraid. No, well, just don't jump. You know, you know the answer to this. Don't jump ahead before you know what you're doing. You don't yet know things are right. And your urge to jump ahead is actually directly proportionally related to how little you know where you are. <laughs> is that right? You're trying to make yourself know more than you do. And that is causing more problems than anything else because then you miss the steps in between. I want to see this stage before I see anything else. So show me the outside shape of her face. If you're finding this confusing, you can draw these blue, this blue line shapes. Oh, hang on, I'll be right back. Thank you. Let me go get him. Whining and crying. All right. Okay, so Jean, let me see. One of the things I want to show you, Jean, you need to bring your face in a little bit narrower down here. Let me show you a measurement that helps with that. If you measure, and probably everybody else too, if you measure the width of the nose, mm -hmm. see how I'm doing that? Mm -hmm. You don't see it? No, is that um? Okay. And I go directly from the edge of the nose to the left. Where is the side? Of, we're right at the side of the face. So if you figured out where the nose is, really, the nose should be lining up. So let me double check. Yep, nose, your nose should be in the right place. Notice that literally it's one nose width to the edge of her face. Same on this side. 
So as I sketch in, that's going to help you shape things. Let's see how my, good mine is. Uh, not too bad, actually. Oops. So that's part of it. Then you'll see, Jean, that you can make her, you'll also observe at the bottom here how heart-shaped her face is. Yeah. And you've got it flat. Yeah. Absolutely flat. So here, hold on. All right, ladies, it's enough of me picking on Jean. Addie, it's time. And Mariana, it's time for you to send me your pieces. Yeah, you, you guys don't get do picked on. What's that? <laughs> so, yeah, okay, you guys get picked on. Send it over. Oh, okay. Honey, there's no way for you to send that to me. You don't have your mom's. We're trying to work on it right now. Oh, got it. <laughs> I can send it via message. <laughs> I, I Wait, so I think I have you as Addie's dad. Hold on. It helps me a lot more to be able to look at it. Holding this up, there's kind of too many measurements. Here, you should be on this, but here, I'll send you a note. Here, hold on, I'll send you a text. So I'm on the WhatsApp, but what happens is since it's an iPad and it's not connected to a phone, it can't send photos. Right. So just text it to me. Take What's a picture with your dad's phone and text it to me. How's that? What's your, what's your number? Uh, you have it. Here, hold on. I'll send it to you. I'm going to text you right now. Isn't that weird? I totally have your phone. It's Here, weird. let's see. Addie's dad. She's stalking yeah. you, Addie's dad. Here I am. I don't even know Addie's dad's name. I know Laura. What's your name? <laughs> My name's Alan. Hi, Alan. Hi. Addie's doing really great. There you go. I just sent you a text. So just take a picture. And the big thing, Alan, is to take a picture of it flat so I'm not looking at it from a slant. Kind of put, yep. your, put the phone right over. Yes, anyway. Yeah, no. oh, hold on. Mariana, while, while Addie's doing that, how about you? Time for you to send me yours. I don't care where you're at. I want to send see it. it. Send it. Send it. There we are. Ah, perfect. Okay, so remember, Mariana, I uh, you're doing the same. <laughs> okay, hold on. I, you know what, honey, I can't see your med. I can't see all your measurements. Um. Can you? I, I have I have erased them already. Okay, I so I can't. Can you can you step a little bit further back so I can see the whole yes. piece? So I can see the whole piece because right now I can't see the actual edge of her face. I can't see where things start and I can't see where the hair is. I can't see where the start and the end is. I need to be able to oh. see from here to here, so I can't see that right now. Is that mine? Oh, Jane, where's her, where's this V here? Look at this shape. Really look at this shape. Here, 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 and down. You've done this. You're doing this. Yeah. That's not what's happening. Straight down, straight down, straight over, straight over. But look at what's happening. And because of that, you have a completely different person. Yeah, Mariana, try again, because I can't really see it. All right, let me look at Addie's. Okay, Addie, that's not bad. I'm gonna send this across the thread so you guys can see this. She's actually doing pretty good. That's actually not bad at all, Addie. Good. All right. Now, Addie, you can you can go along and go ahead and and go ahead and add in the outside shape of the nose, right? Like this. Right. 
make sure when you take an, a link that, that this on either side is kind of the edge. And then let's get, I see what you're doing here, Mariana. I see what you're trying to do here. Yeah, send that over to me again so I can see everything. And then we can look at what's off and what's on. I know here, if I come like this, let's see. Really good job, Eddie. Nice work. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yes, that helps me. All right, so one of the problems, let's see here, one. Okay, so one of the problems that you have here, Mariana, I think, is I'm looking. One. All right, so Mariana, you also need to measure from the width of your nose to the edge of your face, right? Measure on either side of the nose to make sure that the edge of the face is coming in here. You have it, you're doing this thing like one of those theater masks, which is not what's happening at all, right? And then if you guys are struggling with the, um, if you're really struggling with the edge of the face, ignore the fingers and you're gonna, you're gonna follow these lines. It's not this round thing. It's two lines straight down and then lines that go in. It's almost like two angle lines. Really look at that shape. Uh, and, and Mariana, you don't have the shape of the uh, eyebrows right, so I had to erase those for right now, just because you want to get those right. Good job. What getting there? Okay, some reminders about eyes. I'm going to move over here so we can see them. Remember that the eye is like, it's the edge of the eye, right? And the sort of where, so in her eyes in particular, because she's smiling so wide, are kind of scrunched up, right? So there, this is a person who laughs a lot. And she's laughing right now. This is one of the few things we can, by the way, see in masks. Oh, I need her too big. It's also easy to make these eyes too big. So the end of my eye is right here. There we go. So it's it's likely that every if I did that, it's likely that everybody else did that too. I'm going to do the same thing over here, erase this. I'm going to start here and come in. And then And then, yeah, she's got these, um, the, the top lid kind of sits almost right over the top, except for right here. You can see a little bit of a mark. You can see it go out, right, like that. Same on this side. It kind of comes out, flares out here, rides almost to the very top, and then just goes dark here. See how already that starts to look a little bit like her? 
And then look at this shape. So don't make these so big. Her eyebrows aren't so wide. And look at this shape, right? This shape as well as the eyebrow shape. Here's something interesting. Let's go back to this for a second. I don't want to sketch too much on this because I don't want, I'll actually have another one printed so I suppose I can grab it. If you go, I was looking at this before, if you go halfway, yep, halfway, if you split this quarter in half, like this, one, two, oh, sorry about that, right? And you go across, you can see that the eyebrow kind of arches right here. In fact, it makes another nice negative space shape, right? Like that. So that helps you. So as I'm coming in here like this, I can do something kind of similar. I can kind of go up like that. I'm creating that negative shape. And I'm looking at this too. That kind of helps me cut it off a little bit here. Same over here. So I'm sketching in that shape. Oops, And that gives me the bottom of the eyebrow and then the top of the eyebrow is easier to see. I may have to move it around a little bit, but do you see how I'm kind of using this, this shape, this shape and this shape? Let's go back to here. Here, I'll take a picture of that. I'm not gonna lie, this is full on intense. It's gonna require you to pay more attention than anything else I ask you to do, even figure drawing. But it's totally worth it. And now I'm totally marking up this face. It's looking even goofier. But I'll send these over so you can see them. And Jean, be careful not to add these lines in too heavily before you, uh, you don't put them in as heavily as you think, only in places. And the shape has to be just right. So you have to start looking at right, these shapes, right? Mm -hmm. To get these out just right. Remember also that the outside edge of each iris is darker than the inner iris. 
And we've got these, and because we're using pencil, you can go ahead and put in those little squares of white. Around those reflected edges of her eyes, so they're in there. And remember, you can still see it here, even though it's light, it's less dramatic, that it's darker at the top and lighter at the bottom of the iris. But Jean's right, Jean, you're right. You can't really see her pupils here, but we know that they are here. I always do this, I always make one pupil bigger than the other one iris bigger than the other when I have to back it down. So you can make this whole thing black, very dark, except for these two little squares of white. And then kind of light towards the bottom. See how weirdly that makes the eyes start to, you know, I can go a little bit darker. See how weirdly that starts to make the eyes look alive. Oh, I think I had her eyebrow in too low. Let's see that. Mm -hmm. Same here. So see how I'm adjusting as I go? Very often, it's not until I get detail in that I can start to see such eyebrow envy. <laughs> such eyebrow envy. My eyebrows just sit right on top of my head, on my eye, my upper eye line, like a little old man. <laughs> I can see how I'm gonna look as a little old person. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with it, you know, I'm not like complaining or anything. I'm just saying, it's funny to me. This is a very feminine face. Which I would consider a sort of classically feminine face. If you want, you can lightly notice that there's very little white on the outside edges of her eye. On the outside whites of her eye, there's mostly dark here as the lashes, the lid lines come together. Things are dark up here because the lash and the upper, the lashes and the upper lid line are kind of coming together just to form a kind of thick dark line on the top. So it's not like, right, it's not this. That's not how the lashes are looking. It's more like a thick, it's more like this. Just gets thicker. Yeah. Maybe one or two, but you can't really see right on the top. Hey, Alan, I also have you added to the WhatsApp thread. So you can always use your phone. You're in. If you opened WhatsApp on your phone, you would see messages come across your phone. So that will also happen. Take a picture of this. 
I see. Here's another one. Um, let's see. So, Addie, I would bring in, believe it or not, I'd bring this top line in even more. So, remember, the bottom line is almost flat, right? We don't really curve it. So the top line, and look how narrow it is. Look at these three shapes. You can bring this down even more. It's because she's smiling. She's squinching up her eyes a little bit, her eyes squinch. Good work. Once you get to the nose, remember less is more with the nose. We're not gonna do kind of the sides, but we can lightly darken here where the nostrils are. We can also kind of shade the bottom of the nose because mostly this part of the nose, except for little areas is shaded. We can shade the side of the nose too, but lightly. Don't draw any hard lines. See, it's like on this side particularly. Leave that light area in the middle. Maybe a little bit dark up here. We can also shade this whole area. Remember from our shading chart. And really where As we start to do this, this is where we start to see where the other lines go, where the rest of the shading goes. See that, how already just adding that gives a little bit of context, I don't know. <laughs> it gives, start to give her a little bit of dimension as opposed to dementia, not dementia, dimension, <laughs> right? Um, there's some kind of curls, I don't want to get too much into the curl thing yet, but I can't, I'm going to do it a little bit here. Mostly the hair is just dark. And so mostly you're going to draw it as just dark. If you want to, you kind of sketch it in. She parts her hair on this side. Actually, that helps, I think. Don't get too into the, I'm gonna remove this. So it's just more like kind of solid hair right now. We can't see as much curl as you think. So that's why I'm like not really doing too much. I'm mostly doing solid black right at the moment or dark and we'll get into some detail later but we don't need as much as you think also her hair is kind of coming down so it might be a good idea to sort of get your lines going horizontally kind of down i'm not doing curls really observe I'm mostly just doing darkness. This is to kind of help me define the face from the hair. The truth is that the hair is either always darker than the face or in the case, see a little bit of her ear right there, of like a gray haired person, sometimes it's lighter. So you see how little 
I've done, but you see how that helps to define. We'll do more later, but I'm not doing this. I'm not trying to get curls in yet. I'm just trying to actually darken, darken what's happening around the face. I can also do this so we can ignore the fingers. That's confusing everyone. <laughs> Right. And then uh, anybody know which direction the light's coming from? Can you tell? Where's the, where's the light coming from in this portrait? It's kind of above to her left or right. This way. Yeah. Yep, exactly. Good job, Jean. You're getting very good at this. Being able to see that. And that's because although it's dark on both sides of her face in these locations, like it is on all faces, it's darker over here. But right? you look at the nose. Yeah. There's only shadow really on, on our left side of her nose. A uh, prominent shadow, yeah. Under, underneath, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh, that's right, right, good job. Yes, the nose is going right, that shadow is going this way. By the way, you can add that in. I can also add in this shadow this shadow notice how i'm kind of just working all over the face also remember it's kind of darker here lighter up here kind of darker across the middle of the forehead. It's dark around this part of the bridge of the nose, lighter up here, lighter over the top of the eyebrow. I'm kind of getting a general, this is a little hard to see in the camera, so I will. And then we'll talk about the mouth in a minute because we've never really done a smiling mouth. Remember guys, this will also be recorded so you can, you can look at it later. And you guys are doing great, by the way. Oops, nope. I need to bring this down for a second. So some things to remember about a mouth, a smiling mouth. We have like this shape, almost straight. And then this shape is really, when you're doing smiling, an open mouth, smiling mouth, it's this part, the under part that bends down. There's this desire to want to draw a smiling mouth like this. <laughs> that is not what's happening. In fact, the top is kind of going straight or slightly down. Definitely this bottom of the top lip is doing that. And then see how I'm just kind of sketching out. I know where to put these, right? Ugh. <laughs> and then the trick with tea, besides this kind of adorable, whoop, oh, 
this adorable gap is you're not gonna draw all these lines in. If I do that, she looks like a monster. Can you sort of see that? So the trick with teeth, we'll get her a little adorable gap in there because that's adorable. But mostly we're just gonna kind of shade the teeth a little bit gray. We are not going to draw all those teeth in. It's like the nose, less is more. And I'm gonna really sort of focus on the darkness of the lips. See how I can kind of suggest the teeth. And remember, the lip is kind of darker at the top than it is at the bottom. It's a little darker on the sides but it's kind of light in here. And it's kind of dark in the corner. Another thing to remember about mouths is like right over the top edge is a little light upper sort of area of the skin. And then down here where the chin is, there's a little bit of shadow. Interesting, isn't it? Notice I haven't really gotten. Now I might try and add a little bit of these lines, but I'm not. I'm not, uh, they're still kind of soft. If I put too much in, it's too strong. There's also, she has a kind of like an extra line that really shows her smiling. That's as close as we're gonna to get today. So let's see where you guys get on this. I'm gonna send this over. Just do your best. And then I'm getting in and doing a little bit more dark shade and in places where I know it's darker. I might start adding some curl. My mouth sucked. Look at the shapes. I know, but I can't, so, I, I see them, but I can't draw them. <laughs> so uh, try looking at it upside down. Okay. So erase. The problem that you're having, Jean, is that you, you're still drawing the lip. Like it's, um, it comes to the very edge of the mouth. But remember the edge of the mouth, the center of the mouth comes a little bit beyond where the lip is. And her bottom lip really does curve up though. I didn't say it didn't. I know, but when you said this is how oh. you draw a smile, hers actually does that. 
Her bottom lip does, her top yeah. lip does not. Right. It curves, but it's really more like a... Get the outside shape first. Here, I'm gonna take a picture of this close up so you can really look at it. And, but it's better, Jean. So that's the really important thing. Here, I'll draw it for you, shape-wise. So, in fact, I'll just kind of work well, actually, I'll, I'll go here. So for me, I see this as kind of the bottom. So I'm drawing the outer shape first, right? Like that. Then I'm going to add in the bottom lip, which looks like the top lip. Then I'm going to add the top lip. Remember that this line, which kind of connects to where these bottom and the top come together, like that's the middle line, extends out a little bit. Right. Right. Then I can start shading. Does that help? Watch yes. me do this again. Yeah. We haven't done much with mouths, so this is all. And we've certainly never done an open mouth. A smiling mouth. And observe, like it's a little darker on the top than it is on the bottom. And then I'm going to, and it's darker kind of on the corners, like that. So where the teeth kind of disappear, where the lips start to close together, you can't really see the teeth, it just gets kind of dark. And then I'm just kind of shading the teeth slightly gray. And then down here, it's darker on the sides. Lighter in the middle. Yeah. Um, if you look at her, the shape of her nose, Addie, you'll see it kind of comes out more wider than you have it. You see yours is kind of like this. Oh, okay. Yeah. Look at where the edge lines up. It lines up kind of more towards her eyes. It, it, anyway, it's just, it's slightly longer than you've got it, which makes her look. Sure. Also, I think when you do that, yeah, yeah, it really just needs to be wider. Wider be. Not bad job on the mouth though. Pretty good. And if you have time, you can add some of that shading in. Make sure that your shading of the face is not as dark as your hair. Right, because the hair is significantly, as it is on all people, is significantly darker than any skin color. It doesn't really matter what the skin color is.
And before you ask Addie, yes, I did do this with Emma. Nice. I did indeed. Oh, honey, kitty cat. All right, hang on. I'll be right back. Come here. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I hate So much loving Yeah. Yeah, better. Great. Great, great, great. Okay. And I have um, a question. Yeah. Um, are you guys still doing like the painting on Friday? Yes. Okay. I might pop in tomorrow because I can't go to school. Oh yeah, I saw your mom signed you up for that. Yep. It'll be yeah. 9 a.m. your time. Awesome. Sounds great. Yes, yeah, we're I gonna paint some to lemons. You'll love it. Okay. <laughs> Why uh, can't you go to school? Well, I currently have COVID, so. Oh no! Well, that was you know everybody's gonna get it, so. Yeah, but I'm I'm vaccinated, so it's not that bad. Good. Did you feel sick at all? Uh, yes, I did. Yeah. Um, very tired and achy, headache. Oh, isn't it? It's interesting, isn't it? Oh, I'm so glad you're vaccinated. Uh, it could have been so after, much worse. Yeah, after Emma's dad got it, like oh. he's really he's a really careful person. Like, right. but he's, he's a doctor. So, he's a doctor, but he like washes his hands. He literally, like, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw him with hand sanitizer on his belt. Like he's <laughs> so. So after he got her, like no one is safe. And then you got it just to prove the point. <laughs> well you know the truth is we're all at some point gonna get I know, it i know yeah yes but um you know we'd like it later rather than sooner actually i don't know i'm not really excited about getting it although maybe i've already had it who the hell knows that's the thing yeah. you don't really know you know uh -huh. so my family all got this awful head cold in yeah. in the spring we call it rhinovirus it was like called nasally. And um, we thought that was COVID at first, but no. Nope. Way different. And then Gwen, so my dad has it too. So me and him are just staying home. Oh, all right. Uh, well, that sounds fun. Yeah, so it's, jump it's in not class. Horrible. You yeah. might as well like just get some extra art classes on. I think that's, yeah, great. that's what You'll love it. Huh? You'll so, really love it. Actually, me, Jonah, and Gwen are all contact traced but I have it and I probably got it from dad and Gwen could have had it because she had a fever, but we tested her and the test came back negative. So at this point, my whole family could have had it. Um, they've all been exposed anyway. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Jane, better. Better. She's, she's recognizable, right? She's recognizable. Yeah. Now, why don't you add some shading in to like the face? Uh, it helps to work upside down, doesn't it? Yeah. All right. So go ahead and add the shading in the face. If you want me to, I'll send you the picture of it because uh, it's a little. I've got little. a little. It's just not very much, and get I get it all in. What I have. Get it all in. <laughs> you need to get the sides. Right, you need to get across here. Get the darks and the light. Get get more of the shading in. Here, I'm gonna get more of my shading in so I can send it to you and show you guys. Get the shading on the nose. Good job, though. Okay. 
So you'll observe, it's like the bottom of the nose is kind of dark. And then the middle of the nose is really where you've got your light. But you kind of want to use like a, you don't want to sketch that in, you want to kind of erase it out. Where's my, where's right here kind of up here sort of on the top of the eyebrow which is the top ridge a little bit here a little bit here there's a tiny like a kind of reflected bit here Great work though. Good job, you guys. Um, Jean also, note you have her hair lined up, but note that really it's- It's longer on that one side. It's yeah. longer on this side. So it stops here, it comes here, right? And it's not really these little Medusa curls know, coming know. out exactly like the snake, right? Exactly evenly. Look at the, if you want to do that, really look at the shape, right? That's the shape. Give me just a second. Can you send a picture of the nose to me? What a great face, huh? 
such a great face. Hey, Leah, can you send a picture of the nost? You want me to send this picture upside down or close okay. up or? I, uh, just kind of maybe a close up on, on the nose. Okay. Of the drawing or of the photo? Of the drawing? Oh, I, okay. Yes, I can do that. Totally. Yes, indeed. Yeah. My pencil is getting quite a workout. <laughs> right? I sharpened it twice since I started. <laughs> I know, it's insane. It's insane. Jessica, can you share what you're working on or? Yeah, I mean, I'm just doing sketchbook stuff. Um, I'm trying to do a face a day for a while. We'd love to see what you're working on. Please. Yeah, of course. We're going to show at the end. I'll do it. Okay. Perfect. Now I'm really trying. I do notice that the uh, picture is kind of, the lighting is kind of blaring out. So I'm needing to get a little darker with my shading in places. Basically, you'll observe the whole bottom of the face, anybody's face, is, um, is mostly shaded. It's very little light spots. There's only a few shaded areas. There's only a few light areas. It's almost all shade. You see how even when I start to emphasize her lines, they're less like hard lines and more like kind of smudges. Damn, she's kind of mesmerizing, isn't she? So you see how I'm starting to uh, uh, strengthen the shading in the face? Yeah, there we go. Kind of pushing the darks, which is in the face, not that many places. There's like the eyebrows are generally dark. The upper eye is dark and the upper lid line, where the upper lid line and the lashes kind of meet is a little bit dark. Remember the bottom lid line is lighter because that's facing up. No, oh, when I look, I can actually see little bits of her ear. Here too. You know, 
I think of her as having such a round face, but it's really not at all. Oh, eyebrows too way on. That's better. Now I'm really looking at things like every B shapes.
We've got about 20 minutes left. So see what you can get. Oh my God, when you spend this kind of time with a face, particularly when it's somebody you admire, I feel the love that flows from me to that person is so huge. I don't know if you guys find it, but I'm just like every now I'm just completely fascinated by Stacey Abrams and Abrams and everything about her. I'm like, you are just a hot ticket. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> I really love you. <laughs> I should not have put in any background because now it looks like her head is just floating. <laughs> I can look past that. Um, this is so much better, Jean. Really better. Good job. Darken this side heavily. Okay. Heavily darken this side, right? In the, here, I'll send a picture over so you guys can see what I mean by heavily darken, because it's a little hard to see here. Remember, show the difference. I'm heavily darken even more. Yeah, there we go. Picture again, as I heavily darken even more. Hey, purple. Hey, purple.
What? What do you want? What do you want? What? Meow. Meow. Time for that right now. Meow, meow, meow. Furball. You want to talk? You want to have conversations? Conversations. Yes, mommy. Is that what's going on with you? Yes, mommy. Please. Yeah. You want to go rub over there? I think that's a good choice. Oh, Furball the most gets stuck. Say, mommy. She get no. She's perfect. Furball is zero percent evil. She gets so excited to be pet that her tail vibrates. <laughs> I'm now going back into the office Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of the week, and then I work from home on Thursday, Friday. And boy, were my cats happy today! I oh, bet. My mommy's home. Oh my How god! How is that? How's that going, Jean? It's going great. That's awesome. Good. Do you and you like your new people, right? Yes, new very company? much. Very good. My, my new boss in our first meeting, she dropped two F-bombs and I was like, oh, we're going to get along just fine. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. By the way, Lee, I sent you one of the Addie, that's really, I really like the way you handled her hair. Very interesting. Um, I still feel like her face is a little too wide, but I'm going to give that to you because you can't really see it because of the fate, right? You can't really see it because of her hands. So I'm going to give that to you. But look at how Addie, here, I'm going to show this to you guys. I'm going to forward this. Oh, I guess I have to save it before I add it. Oh, come on. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. I'm going to send Addie's attempt over because I think she did a good job. I did just now make the face a little. Uh, shorter over there. I do see what you mean, though. Do you want it? It's narrower, right? Not shorter, right? Less wide. Well, when you look at her, you think, oh, she's got a moon face. It's totally round. But then when you start drawing it, you go, oh, it's not. Nobody does, <laughs> right? <laughs> like, that's like the thing. Uh, everybody's feet, if you'll notice, her features are basically in exactly the same place as all the other faces that we have practiced. So there's differences. Here we go. All right, let's see. Here, I'm going to send that one. But I really like, I appreciate Addie, the way you handled her hair. And I think some people might actually know. The other thing, Addie, just to give you a quick, is look, if you look at the shape of these, they really come out much wider. So oh, this yeah. shape is, right, that's an easy one to get wrong. People just throw it in without really looking at it. And then they realize that that part of what gives her that wide face is this shape here. It doesn't go down, it goes out. Um, but you got 10 more minutes. You can address it if you want to. But here, I'm going to just send this over to me so I can share it on the thread. So Addie, if you're, here we are. This is Addie's. I think she's done pretty good. But what I really like is the hair. Isn't that kind of neat? You guys see that? Oh yeah. Oh, Jean, coming along, coming along. Don't be shy with the shading. Remember, it comes all the way up here. This is the only place yeah. here, here, and here that isn't shaded. It is. So, it's so light, it doesn't come across on the... 
Yeah, well, uh, if then that if it's that light and I can't see it on the photo, then it's, it's not, not dark, dark enough. enough. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Nice work. We're getting there. I mean, you know, remember this is a practice, right? A big old practice. You got ten more minutes. Let's see what we can do.
All right, we've got about five minutes left. Race to the finish line. But everybody did good here. You should feel happy with your results. Happy, happy, happy. This is my best face since Einstein. Yep. Let's keep it up. <laughs> Bravo, guys, really getting there. All right, let's do this. We're gonna, I'm gonna remove the spotlight. Go ahead and put yourself in gallery view. So you can see everybody and let's hold up our pieces. 
Oh, Jessica. So good. Jessica, Ooh. yours doesn't look anything like Stacey Abrams, but yeah, it looks what's good wrong with you, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't work from that. So what that's beautiful, Jessica. Thank so you. what did you two, what did you guys learn from this lesson today? Did you learn anything from this lesson? Can you can you qualify it? Addie, Jean, what'd you learn that you didn't really get? Stop that? rushing ahead. <laughs> I learned yeah. how to do a smiling mouth better. Yeah. And how I like to handle curly hair. Yeah, yeah, that was really neat. I liked that. That mark making was cool. Yes, and Jean, say that again. Say that a little louder. <laughs> stop rushing ahead. <laughs> stop until you got your measurements down. Stop rushing ahead. No need to do that. Understand why you're doing that. You're trying well, to control, do. right? Like we're trying to, we try to control the situation. And, and the problem is it just doesn't work. <laughs> I think it was great. I think you guys did great. I think for people who don't, aren't really doing this, this is a great, wouldn't you say, Jessica, a good effort? Really yeah, good It's effort. a hard, that's actually um, a very Super. difficult photograph to work from it you know you at the end of the, the day ears. i realized that but really yeah, all I you, wanted don't, the you don't have ears in it and the hands are covering and it's a it's an open mouth smile. i did mrs mazel yesterday mm -hmm. and that one was a hard one too and it was a good reference but it's just like these smiling mouths are just like smiling mouths are good. super that hard looks like her. that looks I was smiling exactly mouths are tough. super hard yep you're right so i gave them kind of a tough challenge i thought they did yeah good. no it's a hard one you you were a little hard on them leah i was a little hard on them i'll try to get a little bit easier on them the next time. i mean i had trouble with mrs 